technological advancement. <sighs> ah, another beautiful morning on Mars. Ah, oh my goodness, I didn't even see you there. What's happening, YouTubeverse? It's your boy, Dark Hilarity, and welcome back to Occupy Mars, where last time we did stuff and we did things. Um, we went out, we got some more technology. We, I salvaged a couple of bases. Uh, we got some more power set up, so that's all fantastic, fine and dandy. And actually one thing, before we get started, I wanna do here is, wait a second, do I have water pipes on me? I don't have water pipes. We gotta sort out our inventory, oh my gosh. External oxygen detected. I mean, our inventory is a disaster from yesterday's adventures. So I think we are going to, let's go in here. Look at all these circuit boards we have. We need to build more stuff. We have so many circuit boards, it's unreal. So let's take our crafting materials back out of here. We're gonna need concrete today. Uh, we're probably gonna need some steel plates. I'm gonna reorganize this a little better. Honestly, did I have the water pipes on me the entire time? Oh, what a fool. What a fool indeed. Uh, let's grab those. Let's, do we have electronics in here? We do, boom, there we go. We'll take those and maybe I'll stack up everything we can stack up. Wait, that's the wrong one. Um, we got, okay, give me a sec here to gather my thoughts. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's looking a little better, a little more organized, and maybe we'll bring a small circuit board in case we might need that for something. Uh, do we have anything else in the fridge? No, we're good to go there. And in here, did I have anything in storage? I don't remember, no. Okay, so I think we're good to go there. We got a bunch of resources for stuff, but before we get started, I want to connect the water to the big tank that we placed last time. Because, let me open up my inventory here. Oh, I guess I brought another circuit board. Let's put our water up here and our electrical cables up here. Get those sorted out. Um, and then we can go ahead and let's just disconnect this for now. And we are gonna reroute this real quick because I want this to start filling. Uh, I guess we'll just go back over here. I want this to start filling up so that when we go to do the water setup and all that stuff, we will have enough water for our plants to not die on us. Okay, there we go. Now this tank should start filling up. Oh, change to blue. They used to be white. Now, is there an indicator? Can I see? There's no screen. I wanna know how much water is in here, is what I wanna know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything on the tank itself there. Maybe there's an indicator right here. Uh, stored water, zero. Oh, well, that's nice, okay. There's nothing in there. So that just means there's no stored water within these machines themselves. Is there an indicator on this tank here? Production is 566, no, nothing there. Uh, what about if we look in here? So, it just shows all the water going out there. Hmm. I don't... Yeah, I don't see, I mean, maybe it says in the base, or maybe I can look at this. Will you tell me some stuff I don't know? Altitude, no, nothing, eh? Well, that is a shame. I'd like to know how much water we have. Maybe there's something in here that indicates it. Let's have a quick look at our little, uh, our little info board here. Um, water, we, it looks like we have 900, and 98.75 liters. I'm gonna assume that's what that means. Um, power, we have a total of that and we're only using this, okay. So this, yeah, this is, uh, this, I think this is storage here. This is the total amount we have currently stored in our battery setup. This is the total amount we're producing. Um, yeah, but we're using, so this is, the nighttime comes from the batteries. This is what we're sending through to the base here. Uh, the total amount we're using is 72.87. And for water, we have almost a thousand liters in storage. 
we're gaining 18.38 or 11.38 sorry and we are using 5.67 and everything else seems fine and dandy potatoes are you guys growing and stuff yes 36 percent beautiful and what about you little fellas you guys are 47 okay so this thing looks like it grows the plants faster than that thing but i want to before we get setting up the water and stuff did i make this a tea i think i did yes let's go outside because i want to well before we go outside i want to build where would it be not there not there garage doesn't make sense it would be there either um oh you know what maybe we have to actually learn it yeah because we picked up the blueprint for the greenhouse and i want to learn the greenhouse which we can't yet because we don't have any points so we're not placing the greenhouse down quite yet sad edge but i guess once these plants are grown then we can do some stuff all right well on to the water setup I'm gonna let this tank fill up a little bit. So I'm thinking if this tank is filling up, I don't know how much it holds. So I wonder if it says in the blueprints, resources, uh, this guy here. No, 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 don't do that. Come on. Can I read anything about this? Maybe it's under knowledge, knowledge, resources. Do we have tanks in here? somewhere h2o no uh buildings maybe it's in there and i see tanks somewhere transformers well workbench workshop solar panel resource tanks that's where we want ah, doesn't really provide any information i want to know what the maximum capacity of that tank is but i think once that tank's filled this should start storing these tanks should start storing again but oh well what do we do um, i'm gonna set up our methane and stuff first so let's go into well and we will get these guys going i want the water to be kind of over there and i want the methane and stuff i guess to be we're gonna use large tanks too oh yeah we are um I guess we'll put the wells like back here how does this gonna look if I put that guy that's input for electricity I want the hose facing out I think so can we put one there and then can we also put another well over here but in line with it a little further away though because I know we're gonna need room for um for the expansions or the upgrades to them so let's weld these guys up. I think I have all the stuff for this. I mean, probably. We have a lot of resources. There we go. We'll get that one welded up. Let's do this one next. Come on now. Oh, this new welder is so much faster. Oh, man. Did I honestly put this backwards? Seriously? Oh, I wish the indicators were a little more clear. It's a, it's a pretty good thing that our tools are uh, pretty fast. So it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we want it this way and was it right here i think it was right there okay this should work better now oh my gosh can't believe i did that again every time i do this every time i do this i put it backwards okay so next we want to use the uh saboteur reactors I I'm, I'm sure i'm pronouncing that super incorrectly but what do you do um so let's put one there do we put two of these up i don't know what do these require for resources? So they need a small pipe, aluminum plate. We should have all, we should have lots of all this stuff. So we should be able to build these on. And I think this probably increases power usage. Let's see. Um, man, it doesn't even say. It's so vague. I want to know. Does this increase my power usage? We can put one on there. I don't know if we need two on each, but they're pretty cheap. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put two on each and then we're going to figure out how this whole system works with these things. Weld these up and then we got one more to place and then we'll have a look at the settings. I mean, if this only still only costs five power, 
that is going to be good. But I mean, we have a we have an excess of power, so we can afford to spend a little more if need be. And there we go. Now, these look pretty cool. See, these are I think these are the things I've ground down on the outside of bases, but they're not connected to wells, so I don't know. Okay, how does this work? How do we make you do things? So, supply power, usage is five. Okay, is there something I need to do with you? No. I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> Maybe we need a pump. Because you can change kind of settings and stuff on pumps, so maybe... Maybe that's how we make this work. I'm going to put the pump directly in front of here for now while we test this out. So I don't have to run cables too far. And I mean, uh, not cables, but the um, hoses. I guess liquid cables, they call them. Okay, so let's say we want this one to be oxygen. We're just going to plug you in there. Perfect. Now, are you producing oxygen? No, it doesn't seem like it is producing oxygen. But why? I want you to make oxygen. Okay. Are there is no other places for pipes on here? Uh, let's have a actually, you know what? Maybe we got to do it in here. So we want this to be We'll deactivate these for now. We want you to be we can't change it. We can't do anything about that. And it is definitely doing water. But I don't want you to be water. How do I make you not water? I'm so confused by what's happening here. Okay. You know what? Maybe we need to go to the old knowledge base in the tablet here. Um, okay. So according to the tablet, we need to connect more power to this. So let's disconnect this cable for now. There we go. And we will put on a new one and run it over there. Because I guess they need to have the correct power supply as well as tanks. But I think it's going to produce oxygen and water. Which is something, I don't know, I don't want that. Can we change this yet? No. Bro, come on. Okay. Maybe we need to set up our oxygen tank then. Um, blueprints, oxygen tank. I see. So we can put on an oxygen tank here. We can put on another oxygen tank here. And I guess let's grind this guy down. Trial and error, trial and error. Um, where did that hose go? Oh, there it is. We'll pick that back up. And I guess if we're producing water from these still, hmm, I prefer not to take water out of these. Honestly, I want to keep water separate. But if it's going to produce water and use the electricity, we might as well pump it up. Because if both of those are producing water, and we could probably do without one of these and run them into a pump. I don't know. Let's just get the oxygen and methane set up first. Uh, I need methane tanks. And then we're going to figure out what to do from there. I don't want to overthink this at each step. I just, let's just weld it up and get it done. Oh, this new welder is oh, it's so fast. Or this new torch. This welds things up beautifully. I wonder if torches would work the same on Mars with their atmosphere. I don't really know. Just a random shower thought. Okay. There we go. Now we should be producing oxygen. So if we take a well now. I mean, not a well. What am I talking about? If we take a pumpito pump station, we place you maybe right... 
Where do we want this one? I'm going to say... I'm going to say maybe right here. No, I'm going to have to go forward one. No, I'm going to go in front of this one. Right in the center, but there. Okay. That should be fine. I'll throw another one right here. Like that. And let's weld these up. And we'll go ahead and weld up the second one. Okay. So now we can pipe these up. I'm thinking we'll put you into there and we will put oxygen refilled. Water oh, refilled. nice. Source empty. Oh, that's cool. Put oxygen in there as well. We'll leave this middle one empty in case we need water from it. That's why I left a bit of room here as well, too. I mean, I did that. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> and then we will put you right into there. Perfect. All right. So now I'm thinking we can take all of the methane. And we will take all of the methane out of the... You know what? We'll do it out of the first one. Let's just keep these water for now. And we'll take all of the methane out of here. Which would be the first one. And I guess we can put our tanks... Where do we want the tanks to be? I think I'm going to put them both side by side here. Facing towards the base. So if we put one tank like right here... The other tank right beside it here. Are they floating? They better not be floating. I mean, there's nothing I can do if they are floating. Let's hope they just like weld up and fall into the ground. Oh no, they're good. They're good. All right. And then we'll weld up this tank here. Yeah, there you go. Get yourself welded up nicely. Beautiful. You know what? This is, I thought this was going to take way longer. <laughs> so now we can run our... Uh, I think we need to still do the same settings on here. So let's have a look into this guy. I want all of the oxygen to come out the number one. Let's just change these both to water so there's no confusion. And your oxygen now. Okay. So oxygen is going to go into the first tank. Um, it didn't turn green. Why not? Why are you red? Did it not connect? No, it didn't connect. What, what was that all about? Plug that in, and we want to go right in there. Dude, what are you doing? Is there an input and output or something on these that I didn't know about? We're going to hook you up. And let's go gently into the hole. That sounded... That sounded so bad. Okay, what about this one? Alright, so are these tanks just for water? They must be. Available point for technological advancement. Oh, perfect. But we might as well, for science sake, try to plug it into the back. Okay, so there's a front and a back. Good to know. So I'm going to have to grind both these tanks down. <laughs> okay. Is there a indicator on this? I need Sleep to see. There is. All right. You guys are probably laughing at that. I mean, I'm laughing at that. I, you know, sometimes I do things. Why am I having a sleep deprivation warning? I literally like just slept in our new comfy bed. Okay. We'll put one there and you flip around and there we go. And that should be good. Hopefully we don't have issues with this now. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's so funny. I didn't even notice the indicator. I didn't even think about it. It just, like, worked out that I got the water one set up correctly. Um, I guess. Or maybe I did notice yesterday. I don't know. Okay. Into the hole, and you are oxygen. Beautiful. And we will take you, Sir Red and plug you into this one and we have methane 
Now, this one's not producing anything yet, I don't think, because we don't have enough power for it. So let's run a cable to that guy. Actually, we need to set up the uh, power configuration here also. Let's just run this power cord first, get it set up. So things are happening. There we go. What do we look like? So we, it's using 15 kilowatt now, but it's supplying five during the day. So we're using 10 during the day from our network. I'm gonna just supply this with 15 to each one, just to guarantee. Now, wait, did it still say it was producing water? Water production is still 5.5. So we can get rid of one of these entirely. So I'm gonna pull this one here and not drill it. I'm gonna grind it down. There we go. Put that away and take that. Okay, so both of those need 15. Uh, I think it's gonna be on set two. Yep. Let's up this to I guess 17 and up this one to also 17. That's the closest we can get. So we have to provide 17 kind of to each of those. The base is still getting 236 kilowatt, which is good because we're only using like 60 or whatever we were using. Um, and the water only one's going to use a little bit less. But I'm thinking we can pump... Hopefully we got some water storage, storage, what am I talking about? Stored in there. Let's have a look here. Um, man, I can't tell. I like, I don't know how much is in here or how much we need, but let's go look inside and then I'm going to sleep till morning. Get rid of the sleep deprivation BS. Okay, so it's so we're storing 1,042. It didn't seem to go up too much. Maybe the tank's capacity is 1,000? Or, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see the longer this kind of goes on. To test it out properly. Let's swap out our uh, water and have a little snack. And it's time to sleep till morning. You know what's great about our brand new bed here is that it allows us to sleep longer than eight hours. How amazing is that? I need to charge my suit real quick here. So let's go ahead and jam our finger into here for some more suit juice. All right, back to the task at hand. Look at our beautifully colored tanks. I wish the whole tank would change color instead of just the ends. It looks kind of funny, like crayons. <laughs> All right, so we have methane and we have oxygen being produced i can't tell how much we have stored okay hold on total input is 1.5 total output obviously is 1.5 also um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna build these two water tanks on here real quick it gives us a little bit of extra storage and honestly it doesn't use all that many resources so we might as well What's this vertical tank? What's different about that? I just noticed it. Oh, we can just place this anywhere we want. I see, I see. I like having these connected here. It's gonna be nice and organized. So we'll get water coming in there. Water coming in here. We don't really need to go into these pumps with the water. I mean, maybe we will just for aesthetic purposes i suppose we're gonna need to make some more water pipes right away here too let's put uh these in here that way i guess it just looks good and we got water coming out there water coming out there we will put a hundred percent of the water through the middle one and then same with this guy. We'll put 100% of the water through the middle one on this one also, which it already is set at. So perfect. Now I need to go make more water pipes because I don't think I have any more. But we got 44. That's not going to get us very far at all. 
this tank hopefully is good for now so i'm gonna grind down let's pull that out of here pull that out of here let's grind this guy down first get rid of this pump station and we will put a pump station like right here actually let's place down the well we can get an idea of that and we will rotate it so it is this way yep i like that let's get a tank on there also yep perfect we can go ahead and grind down these ones um before i do that actually i'm just going to drop this on the ground because i'm going to run that same cord there's no sense in running a whole separate one I like how that one's connected. And now we can go ahead and weld these up. And then this guy will just be producing water. So I think we should have an extra wells worth of water coming through here into our tank. Because you are producing 5.61. And let's just hook this power cord up real quick. Before I forget about it there we go I'm gonna put a well here first too or not a well a pump uh, where are you at mr. pumpy pump right there pump station so we'll put the pump station right here but I'm gonna face it that way and I'm actually gonna go one more this way because that should be working pretty good right there I think and then now we can take this Put it into this one here. Did I put this backwards again? I put this backwards again, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> okay, well. I mean, I don't know. I feel dumb every time I do that, but you know, I'm not blaming myself. I'm not I will not take is that too far away? No, that'll be fine. I'm not taking responsibility for that. The icons are very hard to tell the difference. Or maybe I'm just moving too fast. I don't know. Okay, there we go boom in you go bud and then water refilled oh perfect we'll plug that back into there so now we got water coming into there again and let's change these other two to water well we only really need one being water these two need to turn into also water Okay, but we need more pipes. So this was 5.62 or 5.6 something. They're producing for water. What are you guys producing for water? Tell me your secrets. Oh, they're producing way less water. That's only producing one point something. This one, 3.68. Why? Why do you produce different levels? I mean, I guess the oxygen, okay, I see, yeah. It's using the water to produce oxygen. Yeah, that makes sense. Now this one, how much methane are you producing? It's like backwards. All right, so I think I'm gonna need to set up a whole, I'm gonna set up one more well. I'm gonna set up one more well, then we're gonna need another pump to combine those into one more here, if you know what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, I guess we do another well. This one can just go right beside the last one. Uh, is that in line? I wanna be like right there. Why won't you let me be right there? Yeah, I think that's the right way. Let's set up one more tank. I honestly thought those would produce, produce the same amount of water, but I guess not. That's okay. These aren't overly expensive. The only downside, I guess, is that we're going to have to have a whole extra well. But, I mean, it can't be helped at this point, right? Uh, hundred. Why do we have 113 water pipes now? I'm so confused. I'm not complaining. I'm just confused. All right, we'll put you there. And then I'm going to add one more pump between these guys. 
Yeah, it requires circuit boards. Luckily, we have a mountain of circuit boards, so let's go and grab one of those guys. Grab two circuit boards just in case. Oh, hey, plant babies. 70%. Okay. These guys should be already at like 50, right? Yeah, you're all you're all ready to go at 50. Nice. We're almost ready to be moving plants around again here. All right, back to the task at hand. You know, I should have crafted more, uh, I should have crafted more pipes or hoses, whatever you want to call them. Okay, let's do one more pump station. I guess, I guess we'll do it like right here. But this way one. Let's weld this one up now. This should hopefully solve any problems we have for now. Like I said, we don't really have a use for like oxygen or methane yet, but I was reading in that, uh, in the knowledge guide that, um, I guess we'll just go right to the outside again for now. I was reading in that knowledge guide that the jetpack when we unlock it uses methane and oxygen. Then we're going to do input one to be 100%, which is you, sir. Do we have enough? No, we ran out of pipe, didn't we? <laughs> we made it 10 feet. Okay, <laughs> let's go craft up some more pipe. Okay, well, I think how many, I think we get 10 at a time, right? So if I do say 30, that'll give us 300. Yeah, okay. My math was correct. Let's go in here to the inventory and grab that out. There we go. Um, so we've got 300, that should do us for a bit. And let us have a little snack. Battery's good, water is really good. And our H2O is kind of going down. So you know what? Let's swap out that tank and fill up our H2O before we head back out there. Uh, right here on this guy. I just want a quick fill somewhere, you know Inside here there should be like on the wall a place to quickly fill your refill your power Refill your water refill your oxygen. I get when you're outside like there's no way but when you're inside I mean, it should be an easy way. I wonder if I should just connect oxygen up here, too I'm going to I don't know what kind of purpose it's gonna serve for us right now, but hmm, Let's go ahead and plug this in now we've got water at our base. Cha! Perfect. Freshly, freshly made oxygen for our breathing needs. Now let's grab this hose here. We're gonna run this guy all the way over here. Wow, 300 was barely enough. Boop, there we go. Now let's look here. How much water are we bringing in? We are bringing in 14.31, which is more than we need right now. And, you know, now that I think about it, I should have put that well over here for when I add more water wells when we need them. But we can worry about that later. This is good for now. I like the way this setup is looking. I think it's looking mighty fine. Mighty fine indeed. Um... It's kind of chaotic. It's a bit of a disaster, but I like it. Everything is so condensed around here. We should double check our power situation. We're missing one power from there. Oh, actually, we need to run another power from this one to the well. I should probably reorganize these cables, but uh, <laughs> YOLO, I'm not doing it right now. Let's go plug this guy in also so he can run through the night. There you go. To fill up our water bottle. Not enough water. What about you? Do you have water? Fill. Not enough water. Oh, it's because the tank's taking all the water. How am I supposed to fill my water? You know what? Fine. Fine. Available I'll point for technological do it here. advancement. Water rebuild. Uh, let's swap that out, and I think it'll fill that bottle up too. Our plants are withering. Okay, I get it. Calm down. There you go. Plants are fine now. Maybe we should set up another small one of those standing water tanks. 
I don't know. I think this is fine. I think we're good here. This is all fine and dandy. I think it's going to work. We're bringing in lots of water. And I was going to add another hydroponics um, table. But there's no point. Because we're going to do the greenhouse soon. We should get another point once we get all these. And I wonder, do we get planting? Do we get um, botany points for cooking food? How many points do we need yet? Uh, I need two before I can get the greenhouse. I got to get the uh, botany workbench. Then we can learn the greenhouse. So let's see if cooking gives us some experience. We're almost at halfway here. Let's go cook up some of these taters we got in our fridge. Um, I guess we'll just take the big batch. No, we'll turn those into seeds because we are almost out of seeds here. So these will become seeds. Maybe those will also become seeds and maybe that'll become food. Food's not a problem right now. We still have, actually it was in here. We have 11 and 17. So, I mean, we are good on food with nearly 30 of them. Um, okay, food processor. Let's take these 16 and split. Okay, and we're gonna split that again. Okay, and split this one again. This gives us 19.2 to 24, and we should get four food from it. Does that give us experience? Tech tree, botany, oh, you did. Quite a bit, actually, holy. And let's go ahead and grab the food right out of there. Close that back up. Now, processing seeds. Maybe we can make better seeds now with all these seeds. So let's say if we took 48 of those and 32 of those, we're going to get 32 seeds, 3% speed bonus, and a seed bonus also. So let's combine those. What does that mean? Oh, I must have left some in the tray. Okay. I did. I'll take those, please. Let's close the tray back up. And combined. Yes. That doesn't seem like uh, we get a lot of experience for it. Because we didn't get a point. Oh, we're so close. I mean, come on. <laughs> Just give it to us. All right. So we've got a decent amount of seeds here to keep us going. Um, do I make another one? No, I think I'd rather turn that into food because I believe we got a little more experience for that. Split. And we're going to get another four. I hope these stack because they should be the same in terms of quality. Point for technological advancement. There we go. We'll take those. Please tell me you stacked with the other ones. Uh, yes, they did. Okay. So we got a little bit more food. That's a little worse than the food that we're currently using. So we're all good there. It's just fine. Our materials, we went through quite a bit through this whole procedure here, which is fine. But now, tech tree, botany, table, science bench. Botany, Boom. technology access level increased. Available point for technological advancement. Yes, thank you, thank you. Now, when these are done, hopefully we get that, uh, that last point, and then we can build the greenhouse. But I also want to do more grinding of stuff also from those other bases. Let's go in here and where would it be? Right here? Botany workbench, that's the one. Uh, what did it say we needed? We'll see what we're short on in a second here. Glass plate, okay. I know I don't have glass plate in storage, so we're gonna have to make a couple. These things are super expensive too. Um, we'll just make two for now and print those out please. Uh, are they done? Yes, it's done. So we'll grab those. And we can weld up our botany workbench. There we go. So I guess next episode we will be able to learn the greenhouse and build that. <laughs> and I think after we build the greenhouse, we're probably not going to do too much in it next episode. We are going to build it right over there. But I want to see if I can go out exploring, and I really want to find the rover blueprint. I am sad that we don't have it yet, and I really want it, so yeah.
next episode more exploring and greenhouse action but i think today was pretty successful guys um let me know what you think let me know what you think of the setup here if you guys have tips advice anything like that please leave a comment down below let me know i am really curious to know you know what you're set what you're doing in your setups is it similar am i am i missing the plot i don't know you know i'm just a lonely explorer on mars trying to figure it out all right guys if you like the video smash that like button and i hope you enjoyed the video but we will see you next time peace